Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. I just want to make some additions uh, to the last lecture. Okay, so you learned that if you use this where clause where 1 is equal to 1, all rows will be selected. Okay, because this condition will be true for all the rows. For row 1, this will be true. For row 2, this will be true because there is nothing for Oracle to substitute. There is no column name involved. Okay, now what if I do where ID is equal to ID? What do you think would happen? Okay, now for row 1, ID is 1, right? So Oracle will substitute ID on both sides. It will be substituted to 1. So it will become where 1 is equal to 1. That will be true. For row 2, it will become 2 is equal to uh, 2. That will be true. For row 3, it will become 3 is equal to 3, okay? So now again, we still should see all the rows. Okay, the, the idea behind giving you all these examples, this funny... Uh, unpractical example is to make you think how Oracle scanned each row okay uh, how about if I go where ID is greater than ID what will hap what happen to my greater than sign okay so where ID is greater than ID what will happen for row 1 Oracle uh, like ID will be substituted by 1 so it will become where 1 is greater than 1 1 is not greater than 1 right so that will be false for row 2 it will be become 2 is greater than 2 that will be false 2 so none of the rows should be selected okay so now you know how oracle do full table scan and how oracle uh, evaluate each row against this expression the expression may contain the column name it may not contain the column name okay it does not really matter it will be evaluated for, for uh, like expression will be evaluated against each row okay and only those rows will be displayed where result is true okay so I just wanted to add some examples to what we have learned in this previous uh, tutorial